Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about combining like terms, and we want to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this expression, negative 5n plus 3 times 6 plus 7n, okay? Well, we know inside the parentheses we need to deal with that first, but they're not like terms, so the 6 and 7n, can't do it. So now we have a 3 on the outside, so I need to distribute that 3. So 3 times 6 and 3 times 7n. So 5, negative 5n comes down, 3 times 6 is 18, and then 3 plus 7n is 21m. Alright, fairly simple. So now let's combine our like terms, so let's, um, let's rearrange, right? We need to use the commutative property, we need to put our like terms next to each other, okay? And this one we kind of jump ahead, okay? Or maybe you know, do something, see what you can, take your time with this. The 21 and the 5, 21n and the 5n I need to put next to each other. So I know that minus 5n is like plus a negative 5n. So I'm going to put the 21n first plus a negative 5n plus 18. Okay? So again, I use commutative property to rearrange. And that, you know, hopefully you can see that. But again, if you need to, the 21n minus 5n, the adding a negative subtraction plus 18. There we go. And so now it's 21 minus 5. Well, 21 minus 5 is 16. So now we have 16n plus 18. And that is our final answer. So let's recap. So we started with a negative 5n plus 3 times 6 plus 7n. I had to distribute the 3 to both parts. So 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 7n is 21n. Now I rearranged and I combined my like terms. I made that minus a 5n to be plus a negative 5n. It makes it a little easier to see. You don't have to do that step, but just kind of going through it. So 21n here first, plus a negative 5n, brought that down, and 18. I got all three numbers, which is great, uh, 18 at the end. So now adding a negative goes back to be subtraction. So we have 21n minus 5n plus 18. And 21n minus 5n is just 16n, bringing down the plus 18. And so my final answer is 16n plus 18. 